let us now look at another example which is based on what we have discussed in the previous one example 12 it says if x equals to cosecant theta minus sine theta and y equals to secant theta minus cos theta then what is the value of x square y square into x square plus y square plus 3 and the answer options are 0 1 2 and 3 so as we see here the answer options are independent of theta there is just uh, two equations given in the question which involves uh, the angle theta here so what do we do either the regular procedure or the smart method but since we have already learned the smart way of answering these questions let us not waste our time in doing uh, the traditional method here just assume some value in place of theta substitute in the given equations get x and y and then find out the required answer let's take theta equals to 45 degrees we can assume any value let's go ahead and take theta equals to 45 see whatever value we assume 45 30 60 our answer would remain the same the final answer would remain the same right since the answer anyway here is independent of theta but just be careful that you do not take uh, values of theta which gives us an undefined answer for example if you take theta equals to 0 we know that sine 0 is 0 but cosecant 0 is undefined so do not take theta as 0 because x becomes undefined in this case likewise if we take theta as 90 what happens cos 90 is 0 but secant 90 again is undefined right so y also becomes an undefined value so that is the reason avoid taking up those angles which gives us an undefined answer let us assume some value which gives us a real value for x and y real number for x and y and then substitute in the given equation to get the required answer so i think theta equals to 45 should be uh, okay here because all these values or all these trigonometric ratios exist or gives us a real number for 45 degrees so what will be x in this case cosecant 45 minus sine 45 what is cosecant 45 root 2 sine 45 1 by root 2 so this can be taken as uh, root 2 into root 2 2 2 minus 1 1 by root 2 yes or no then what about y y is equal to secant theta minus cos theta that means secant 45 minus cos 45 it will give us the same value again right secant 45 is root 2 and cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so this becomes 1 by root 2 all right so x equals to 1 by root 2 and y is also 1 by root 2 let us now substitute this value in the given expression here x squared into y square into x square plus y square plus 3 so this will be equal to x square what is x square 1 by root 2 whole square y square 1 by root 2 whole square into 1 by root 2 square plus you can directly write 1 by root 2 square as 1 by 2 if you are comfortable with that or otherwise put this step so what happens 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 and in the brackets here we have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 now 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 into half plus half is 1 1 into 1 plus 3 is 4 now 1 by 4 into 4 will give us 1 so the answer for this question has to be option b 1 so clearly going by some value for theta or the given angle in the question is the best method to arrive at the answers for such questions so avoid following the regular method and get the answers in a smart way